Alright, in this video I'm going to be going over my submission for the student design challenge. Um, so here it is, and um, this is my design and it's called Maker's Module. So this is essentially a maker space for kids interested in getting into Lego robotics, kids interested in STEM, and so here uh, it's targeted towards kids but it's adaptable towards pretty much any age range but here the intention is for kids to be able to uh, focus on their passion and their interest in building robots whether that be um, being in a robotics team or just playing around with uh, Lego robotics and so this place will be able to foster that and so this is my submission for the student design challenge and I'm gonna go over it so the first thing is scale so if you look at these green people and these are actually uh, Tesla bots but these f green figures these are all f six foot tall figures so this is how this is the scale of the project um, these container these are shipping containers this the base of this is two shipping containers so that's the uh, sort of teal color these are two shipping containers and so that's how big it is you can see there's three of them two on the bottom um, one on the top there's also one on the inside so actually four of them but you can't see him but that's the scale of this um, it's quite big there's quite a lot of space there's 32 seats in total that can be so th 32 people can be seated at any one given time all right so I'm just gonna um, first start off by showing how I designed this and so it was relatively simple um, I designed this with the principle of designing components in different um, designs and then adding them to one big master design so for example here you can see the picnic bench I've designed after I designed this I would then go ahead and import it into one big um, master sort of design file and then just start compiling objects so here you can see the three picnic benches right here I just dropped them in three different times and so that's how I pretty much designed this entire thing by designing it in another workspace and then just compiling all of them together to sort of form a cohesive solid design and so as I do that I'm gonna start hiding all of these to show you how I designed this from the bottom up so it starts off with just two shipping containers that have been modified and they've been materials been taken out of them um, and, as shown and so it's pretty much one big empty space on the inside after that I decided to add some flooring and so this is just wood flooring this would be made real obviously there would be some sort of insulation between the flooring and the actual shipping container but there you can also see a, a decal that I added to the wall that would be like some sort of poster or some, some sort of design on the wall and there's also flooring on the top for the upper area and then now I'm gonna add in the stairs and the sliding door so or rather the, the not the stairs the uh, door and the sliding door so this is the main entrance door and the three sliding doors so there's one sliding door on the front on the side and on the back and so the sliding doors I added them because I really wanted to capitalize on natural lighting um, and natural like light exposure just so that it kind of seems like you're almost outside when you're not really outside and now I'm gonna show the awning so this is sort of an enclosed awning that I have created here and so this is sort of meant to, as you can see, it's sort of sec sectioned off from the rest of the building um, with that sliding door. And that's done for a reason because there are tables that are in this place. So it's sort of like an office sort of work environment type of area. 
meant for maybe programming, maybe meeting, um, whatever you want. If the task requires you to not be needing um, the, the picnic tables that are outside um, in the general area, that can be done in this office sort of space. All right, after that, upstairs. So here are the stairs and the upper area. Um, I wanted to have sort of an upper area to also be outside and this is the only way I could see um, to add more seating available without actually like extending like the width or the length of this space so it just uses that top space which otherwise wouldn't really be utilized um, and there are tables on top of there as well so if I show the picnic tables, so there are three picnic tables on the bottom and two on the top. And you can see that all of the picnic tables have umbrellas. The ones on the top, I've just gone ahead and hid those umbrellas for now. All right, and apart from that, um, so these tables and these bins, these, are, these bins are meant to hold Legos or building material. Again, this is meant for um, kids interested in Lego robotics, so these are going to be holding Lego parts. And then this table is meant for kids to run their robots on. So in the robotics competitions, um, the, the table looks sort of similar to this. It changes every year, every season, but this is just to represent a potential competition table that um, the kids would be using to run their uh, robots on in order to prep for a competition and there's two on the inside there are two of these tables on the inside as well as more um, Lego storage containers so if I do a section analysis on the inside you can see the two tables and then the five bins to hold more Legos so there's a lot of storage for parts that um, may be needed at any, at any time and then um, I believe that's it. Oh, one more thing. There's cubbies um, on the inside as well to store robots and previously worked on projects. And after that, that is it. So this is pretty much my design. Um, one more thing. I also made a lower scale model of the design, which is 3D printable. Um, it is one to f about 48 scale so for example this the width of this entire um, the width of this shipping container is about like five inches yeah about five inches so that's how about how big this whole thing is um, it's just a lower scale version of this I sort of uh, added the necessary features not everything is modeled it's not as detailed as the other one but it carries the point across of what this would look like general shape and it's perfectly to scale um, all of the features so yeah and that is my submission for the student design challenge